when we last saw you was at the LA opening. Oh, I got good, evil, and all of the above in me. Especially right now. Um, <laughs> I'm evil in the morning, and I'm, <laughs> I'm good at night when I have my glass of wine. But uh, no, I, I'm just so excited. I'm ready to just let all of this energy out on stage. We have been working our butts off since October touring. And so to see all of this come to fruition, to be here finally in Los Angeles at the Pantages Theater. And all of my friends are here and it's awesome. I'm so excited. All right, and you're gonna be on stage in like 25 minutes or something. So you have fun, thank you, and break legs. And you've been doing this show for a long time now, haven't you? Well, yeah, it's been about seven, eight months now. Since a lot of kids and a lot of young actors are going to be watching these interviews from Music Theatre International, do you have anything to tell them about how to hold on to keeping your part fresh when enduring 26 weeks on the road? Well, I mean, that's a really good question. I think you have to try to find your own rhythm, find what's going to keep it fresh, find that thing that's going to keep it... Um, you know, inspiring to keep doing over and over and over again. And with a character like Lucy, you've got to try and find different dynamics and find different things that work uh, to keep it interesting. We say bring on the bear. Brooklyn High is a little bit like the Olympics of singing. You, you, you know, you, you've got to be on your game and you've got to have some incredible and unusual gifts to do Jekyll and Hyde. And ask anybody who has played Jekyll and Hyde or anybody who's played Lucy and they'll tell you that. And Deborah just, oh my God, you know, like Whitney Houston, you know, who I had the privilege of writing a big hit for, um, she has that gift of both flexibility, uh, power, gracefulness, and then always that soulful sadness in her voice that just brings you in, touches you, and makes you fall in love with her. And the fact that she's as gorgeous as gorgeous can be is not too bad either. <laughs> they break your heart, they your soul. Constantine killed when I saw it in LA, and you killed even more now, and that's in a good way. I mean, not giving a thing, but seriously, your voice is astonishing. What's it like singing those great Frank Wildhorn songs? Oh man, I say it's epic. It's just, just epic. Those songs are absolutely beautiful. A new You know, they're so moving, they're, they're so truthful, they come from a very honest place, and they're well written. So who, what's not to love about a Frank Wildhorn song? <laughs> so 